Previously on The Big Adventure. Orange versus blue in our first Skyrim team challenge. Quick, we're losing water. What is going on? This is our opportunity to win this. Jess let the blue team down. Just unlock the padlock. I feel like I've ruined this challenge for my teammate. And Orange team triumph. <laughs> then... In the individual arena... Walking into that arena, it's like a gladiator arena. Who wants to dig in the treasure grid tonight? Todd smashed his way to victory. We have a winner! Earning the right to dig in the treasure grid. Todd, three chances to find a golden key. But he failed to find a key. Todd, three dead squares. I'm absolutely shattered. However, he still had power. Tomorrow, you will be a new team captain, and the person you're about to select will be your opposing team captain. And that person is my good friend, Ronnie. Yay! Tom took control of the game. <laughs> Cheers, Ronnie. Cheers, darling. Whatever Todd says, Ronnie's going to follow. And in the captain's pick... TC, Natalia. Annalise. Todd chose the strongest players for himself. I can see what's going on here. Vaughn is being played by Todd. Leaving Vaughn to deal the final blow. I'm going to have to take Sean. Sending Dane home. I'm sorry to say, your adventure is over. The game has just done a backflip. Todd's eyes are on the prize and that is it. Tonight... Todd's strategy is put to the test. I'd keep control by keeping strong players on my team. As the fight back begins... Todd's playing us. Maybe we should strategize to work together. Bring it on. Todd is going down like a sack of potatoes. Who will dig in the treasure grid tonight? Walking back into base camp after the team pick, everyone is on edge. I was hoping you'd look after me. Mate, Laurie. There is a clear male domination going on, and Todd is at the head of it all. It's not rocket science. It's pretty straightforward. I'd keep control by keeping strong players on my team, weak on the other. It's pretty obvious who's a stronger team. Strategically, I was chosen because I'm going to be a bit of a weight for the team that's got me. I'm going to make Todd regret putting me on this blue team. Definitely. Skyrig is where the orange team and blue team go into battle. Orange team have won everything so far. Team blue is yet to taste victory. I have to win this. Bring it on. Todd is going down like a sack of potatoes, even if it kills me. Teams. Skyrig is really out to test you today. I hope you're ready for some serious aerial action because this game is called Sky High. Here's how it works. In a relay race, four players from each team will deliver puzzle pieces to their puzzle master. To get there, grab the rope, hold tight and swing. Then, steady as a rock, cross the balance beam. Unclip a puzzle piece from the net and deliver it to your puzzle master. When you return, your next player will set off with another puzzle piece. Each player must deliver two puzzle pieces to the puzzle master. Once all the pieces have been delivered, your puzzle master can get to work. First team to solve their puzzle and hit the goal will win the game. Everyone clear? Yes. yes. All right, work out your game plan. Who's, Who's good, good with puzzles? Don't think that it's just a steady beam, it's not. I, I was Abby. thinking Annalise. Todd decides that I will be the puzzle master. That is a lot of pressure on me. I think the puzzle master, Paula, obviously oh, that's going to have to be you. Paula is going to be puzzle master. She has kids, she's done a few in her time, and she's injured. So it was really a no-brainer. Skyrig is set for our team battle. 
Think quick, work smart, play as one. Teams, stand by. Your game starts. Now. Go, go guys. guys Both teams straight onto the watch, balance beam. Watch TC, beam. mate. He's going he's he's to gonna play dirty, mate. When I see TC trying to sabotage Mark, I think you cheeky bugger, TC. It's a Mexican standoff. TC's playing dirty. He's trying to wobble the balancing beam. Yeah. Toying with each other. Go, go, go. Just go, TC, go. Look. Go, careful. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh down goes TC. TC's in the drink, and that is perfect. That's the best start to a challenge that we can have. Climb up to the platform and go again. Yeah, I've cost the team a bit of time here. Mark's done clipped the puzzle piece for his team. Whip it down, First baby. piece for the blue team. Puzzle Master can only start their puzzle when they have all the pieces on their line. TC back onto the rope. The boys meet again. A bit like this, is it? <laughs> bit of cut and mouse, mate, huh? <laughs> Flat out. Okay. Well done, TC. Good work. Over your cunt. In your cunt. Work back for us. Well done. Well done. Come on, Jess. Oh, job, Jess. Well done. TC has nice. just unlocked the first puzzle piece for the orange team. Hey, so go now, up. just go. go. Uh oh. Jess! <laughs> How can I do this? The same memories start flooding back from the previous challenge. I could lose this team challenge again for my team. This isn't happening. It's all right, Jess. Good job, TC. Straight back now. Orange team with one puzzle That's piece. One orange. Blue Good team job. with one puzzle piece. Well done, Sean. He great work, so mate. Great yes. work. Sean slides down the second piece for the blue team. Get a clip. Blue team take an early lead. Great work, Natalia. Well done. So Natalia well done. sliding down the second puzzle piece for the orange team to tie the game. Once Look up and go for it. Just go. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Well, well, it. Well, 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 just it. makes it over. Great work, Bond. Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Bond slides down the third puzzle piece for the blue team. Go, Jules. Go, Jules. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come swing, back, swing, back swing back, swing, swing back, back, swing back, swing back, swing back. We got you. Trust us. Well done. Good save. Good save. Good save. Todd flies off on the rope swing, so I have to do it again. Come on, guys. Remember what's at stake. Great work. You got this in a bag. Well done. Quick before she gets back, mate. She's shaking. Look at those knees. She's shaking. Yes. Oh, Way to go. Yes, well done, Bonnie. Great. Well well done, Bonnie. Okay, gotcha. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Hold on, bud. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Only one team can advance through to the arena. Go. Okay. Good work. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Pull yourself up. Yeah, good. Work. Arms out wide. Arms out wide. Okay, arms out wide. Go, Jules. It's all right, Julie. Go, Down Jules. Down goes Julie in the drink. I'm ecstatic. It's just increasing our lead. Take your time, Jules. It's all good. Blue now with four pieces delivered. Orange with three. What happens there? Keep going. Go, Take go, a go. deep breath. Go. It's okay, Julie. You're right, Jules. You're all right, babe. You got this. Take your time. Take a breather. You're right. You're right. Remember, there's a rope down there, okay? Quick, go. You got this. You got this. Yeah, Tony. Well, well, well done, Jules. Well done. Well done. Each team needs eight puzzle pieces to be delivered. Take your time. Make sure you got the clip. Bring it down, mate. Five pieces for the blue team. Four pieces for the orange team. Blue team in a clear lead. Sean, a picture of concentration crossing that balance beam. Strong. Yes. There goes the sixth puzzle piece for the blue team. Go, buddy! Yes! Oh, Vaughn holds on. They see now in the net for the orange team trying to shake off Vaughn. Down comes the fifth puzzle piece for the orange team. Go, babe, go, go, go. Seven for the blue team. Yes! Oh, Jess Take makes it into Take the net. Now Just unclipping the very last puzzle piece for the blue team. Take your time. Take your time. Yep, get them off. Blue team clearly yeah, in the I lead. Off. Jess sends down the eighth puzzle piece. Blue team have already got all their puzzle pieces down the zip line to the puzzle master. I'm feeling ecstatic yeah. and sucked in orange. This is our time to shine. Blue team with a huge lead starting their puzzle. 
Orange needs to catch up. Just take it easy, Jules. This is all you. We're already two puzzle pieces behind at this point. Julie needs to just go. All I'm thinking through my head is don't fall in. Just focus. Oh, I don't know how Julie's going to go at this one. She um, She's not too confident on her feet. You're fine. You're fine, Jules. My heart is racing. My heart is racing. I'm feeling so nervous. Blue team has a massive lead on us. I'm concerned we're not going to win this. It's fine, Jules. It's all you. Jules, give me more. Oh! Julie takes a second dive into the ocean. Excellent. See you, Julie. You're right, Jules. Get it back. Get it back. We're gone here. We're absolutely gone. Still to come. Blue team with a huge lead. The fallout from the sky ring leaves base camp in disarray. Getting ready for war. The girls need to stick together. Otherwise, we're just going to be picked off one by one. And later... The grid is yours. The next player has their shot at the... For the orange team, Jules has just fallen into the water again. Paula has already started the puzzle. So think of the corner bit. That's it, honey. Yep. Team Orange still have two pieces to send down to their puzzle master. I'm thinking first win for the blue team. Don't, don't hesitate. Just go for it. Jules, in your mind. Balance your hands. Just focus. Yeah. You're right. Julie. Faster, faster. Trying to focus. Faster, faster. Good work, good work. Good work. Good work. Oh, yes. well done. Go, well Jules. done, Julie. Oh, Great work, done it. Julie. And into the net. Orange team. Still have two pieces to be delivered. Well done. Here comes the second last piece for the orange team. Blue team with a huge lead. Take your time, you got plenty of time. Bring it home, T-Rex! Bring it home, T-Rex! Good work. Our analyst has got this. This is it. Here we go, baby. It's all you. It's all you, Annalise. The last piece for the orange team, their puzzle master. Annalise can now start to work on their puzzle. Okay. Draco, this goes here. I'm gonna go horizontal at the top. Fit? Nah, nah. Nah, nah, guys. And Elise, frantically trying to make up time. Put that big triangle piece in the corner and take the other triangle piece out. This one? Yeah, it's like that. Annalise is very calm and collected. I think Paul is definitely a stressor, and I think that um, doesn't help her in doing the puzzle. Please fit, please well fit. Done. Yes. No. No, it doesn't fit. This is a very tough puzzle. Any ideas, guys? This is way harder than I could ever have imagined. I look up and I see their faces and I start to get really nervous about it. We had such a massive head start. We were way in front. Uh, we've squandered that lead and it's neck and neck. Focus. Only one team can get into that arena. If we end up losing this challenge, I will be fully responsible for it. Who wants it the most? Yes! That's it! Harris <laughs> team solves the puzzle, hits the gong. We have a winner! It feels so great to have won a challenge. She's a bloody champion. <laughs> I'm so happy I chose her. Don't worry about it. Yes. Absolutely devastated. We had yeah. such a big lead. It was ours for the taking and we lost it. Orange team, congratulations. Thank you. You were the last to start your puzzle, but then it all fell into place. A puzzle master brought it home. <laughs> yeah, bloody hell. You now all advance through to the arena where you'll compete against each other in an individual challenge. The winner of that challenge will earn the right to dig for a golden key in the treasure grid. Rest up, catch you later. Thank you. I took a punt to bring Annalise across into my team and then putting her into that role, the decision paid off when she nailed it.
why you chose me, isn't yeah. it? You're like, just we're going to use her yeah. to make the puzzle and then we'll kick and her then out. And tomorrow we'll kick, kick her out. out. Yeah. Annalise is dangerously smart. She's a big threat. Thing. Well deserved again, Orange. Yeah, Orange. <laughs> getting sick of saying that. Ugh. The Orange team's getting very cocky. They think they can't lose, but I think there's only a win just around the corner for Blue. Pretty sombre. Wasn't many laughs come out of that one. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just going to try and actually have a bit of a relaxing afternoon now and not think about it too much. <laughs> After today's challenge and losing, we thought we should pick ourselves up, have another competition and play cricket. Jess, you're batting. I'll bat, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Get right, right, right. Oh! What are you doing? I'm getting the ball. You're out. the batsman. <laughs> I don't understand this game. I've never been a fan of cricket. I don't watch it. I don't like cricket. No, not you, Jess. Jess, you're a batsman. You're the freaking wicket. What are you doing? I'm doing both. I'm batting and I'm catching. When you're batting, you're batting only. You're not a fielder. I'm showing that I can multitask. You are a batter. And you've got to run yourself out. <laughs> you don't field and bat at the same time. It's like we have to give her, like, basic rules to cricket. Now, I think you, you can't grow up in Australia with not learning the rules of cricket. So what, what happens when I run to that creature? You've got to get here before their ball hits this. Oh, that's it. That's yeah. it. That's Why didn't you just tell oh, me? Oh, Jess, we're playing cricket. She is really annoying. Hmm. Are you feeling okay? You are Team Orange now. <gasps> I know. So we you are, are part of our team. So you are now bonded with us. Natalia, Annalise and I need to band together. We're going into the arena tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know how the arena usually you're targeting Knocking someone? Knocking people out. Maybe we should strategize. And to work together. To work together. We want to make sure that one of the, us girls win the challenge. And kick one of the boys out. Todd's playing us. Oh, and... If he's here too long, he'll take out the title. Todd's very powerful in this game. Um, basically, he tells someone to jump, they ask how high. Something needs to change. We are very well aware of how dominant Todd is right now. The girls need to stick together, otherwise we're just going to be pecked off one by one. Players get an island shower. Will the boys and girls play clean or dirty? Todd. And who will win the right to dig in the treasure grid tonight? I had the worst sleep that I've had since I've been at base camp. But I'm trying to use all of that negative energy and put it into positive strength. Jess is just out there doing whatever these things are. Whatever they are, she's doing those things. She's doing handstands on the log. She's just putting on a show for everybody. Settle down, Turbo. <laughs> Even though other players are, are probably going to be more of a threat to me, I still just want Jess out of here. I, I, she ruins my camp life. <laughs> I've never been to the gym. Look, guys, sunrise. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, I might get breakfast happening, hey, crew? If you could choose one extra thing to add to our ration supply, what would you Pasta. choose? Bread, maybe? Breakfast at base camp is... Stock standard porridge. What about toast and butter? Yeah. <laughs> I don't really mind this old tin food diet here. I'll tell you what, I am craving a massive pizza. Mm. I reckon we're all going to wake up from a dream in about five seconds. When we when we start making porridge, <laughs> <laughs> foods now become more of just meeting nutritional need as opposed to something you enjoy doing. All right, team. You'll be surprised what we have this morning. Porridge! Oh, oh my God, that's yeah. so exciting. I'm so excited. But you know what we did today? We put some pears in the porridge. Yeah, we went out on a limb. Yeah. Wow. Went out on a limb. Who's yeah. in the challenge today? 
Whoop, whoop. First time. Are you guys pumped? First time. I'm kind of excited. Yesterday, the orange team won the team battle. So today, we progress to an individual challenge in the arena. How are you feeling, Annalise? First time in the arena. It might be your last too, so you better, oh. better bloody give it your... Might be your last punk. <laughs> be careful what you say. She says our ass. <laughs> It no, really doesn't take long before conversations around base camp turn to who's going to target who in the individual challenge. Those girls have to stick together today in the individual challenge so that one of us wins. It doesn't matter who, as long as a boy goes home. Todd's calling a lot of the shots here. If they start picking off the girls, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble. In today's individual challenge, I've been trying to get the girls to team up, just get the boys out, and then it's open slather. There's three girls, two boys, so if we can't do it, we're, there's something wrong with us. <laughs> Once they start picking the girls off, they're just going to go from strongest to weakest. One by one. Yep. I'm going to move this way now. Doesn't All right. Having too much long conversation looks suspicious. <laughs> I was um, thinking... The girls are probably going to come and target us. Yeah. So what do you reckon? Knock them out? Yeah, definitely. Sure. Because, like, yeah, pretty good what we're going. Guys, step into the arena. Walking to the arena for the individual challenge looks a little bit chaotic because I see a whole bunch of different ropes intertwined together and I'm thinking there's going to be some kind of physical contact happening here. No competitors, take a seat on the bench. I am not one for the bench. I would give anything to be competing in the arena. You five. We're tight-knit in the team battle. Now, you need to soak up the pressure on your own. Because in the arena, you need to target your competitors and knock them out of the game. No apology required. I'm sure you've all given it some thought. I can't wait to see it put into action. Your game today is called Island Shower. I'm pretty excited to have a shower, actually. It's stinking hot out here. Here's how it works. Clip yourself onto the rope and scramble fast through the course. Then, pull the rope, you take an island shower and fill your basket. You can only pull the rope once before making your way back to the course. Then, dump your basket into your target player's bucket. When a player's bucket is full, their scale will tip and a plate will smash. And for that player, it's game over. The last player left standing will be the arena champion and earn the right to dig in the treasure grid tonight. Choose your colours. I'm just absolutely pumped. Hopefully you can get a win out of here and go and dig another golden key. I'm excited about today's challenge, but I'm very well aware that I have a big target on my back. Players, there can be only one. Your game starts now. Go, guys, come on. Players must go over the hurdle. Mad scramble at the first meeting post. There's a big shambles when you all get to the pole first. There's bodies going everywhere, arms flailing around. There's Annalise flying through the course. Annalise first to the second meeting pose. Woo! I know that the boys are going to team up against the strongest girl. Out of Natalia, Julie and I, I am the strongest girl. Two players now unclipping their baskets. Annalise and TC about to take an island shower. Out comes this disgusting sludge. Smells like absolutely putrid. What the hell is that? 
<laughs> Look at him. All right, now the island shower. Get as much water into those baskets as possible. What are you putting in that shower there, Jason? Doesn't taste real good. You were looking dirty. I thought you needed a shower. If it had sent any consolation, Todd, you're looking great, mate. <laughs> I've never seen him not look great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Taking her first shower straight to the face. Who will the players pick as their first target? Todd. TC signaling Todd to target Annalise. Annalise looks like a very strong competitor. Decide to knock her on the head first. Natalia takes the first island shower. <laughs> the girls are just getting washed. There's more in their hair than in the basket. TC, we'll be the first player to a bucket. TC targeting Annalise's bucket. Annalise targeting Todd's bucket. Squeezing every drop of water out of that basket. Todd targeting Annalise as well. Seems like both boys targeting Annalise. Julie now targeting Todd as well. TC taking his second island shower. Who are you targeting, Natalia? I'm going to target TC in the arena initially. It's a no-brainer. The girls should be a little bit more sharper with their strategy. They should target one of the boys and then knock off the other. That's how it works. Make sure you keep your water in there this time. Oh, it burns the eyes. It stings the nostrils. <laughs> Go CC! Go Toddy! Todd, who are you targeting? Been out of leash. Is it enough? It's gonna go, it's gone. No, it hasn't. Yes, yeah, it has. It's gone. You're out. Annalise, your plate has been smashed. Game over. Oh, bad luck, Annalise. Take a seat on the bench. Do not worry about it. I'm incredibly disappointed, but I'm hopeful that the other two girls will finish off the job. So we have Natalia, Julie, Todd, and TC left in the game. Who wants to dig in the treasure grid tonight? Come on, girls. How much do you want to dig in that treasure grid? So bad. Let's do this. Don't spill your water, Julie. Keep it in there, hon. Oh, that was a big one. Nice work, Toddy. Look out, whoever's getting these. Boys, feeling very confident at this stage. You got a lot of water, Todd. This is a big one, mate. Natalia taking an island shower. Natalia, you get some more water this time? A little bit. Natalia, you better move. Big blows for Natalia. Todd emptying his basket into her bucket. I'm getting better with those. You want to stay in this, you better move. Quick, 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 Just breathe and hold on to your baskets. They see. Targeting Natalia. Oh. Quick, quick, quick. Natalia, your plate has been smashed. Game over. Take a seat. Well done, Toddy. Good work. I've really dropped the ball here. I'm devastated because I've let the girls down. All right, left in the game, Todd, TC, and Julie. Will the boys both target Julie? Will they go for each other? Let's give Julie some rubber. I like where your head's at, Toddle. I made a pact with Todd to wipe the girls out first, and yeah, if I break this now, it's gonna break all trust I have with him. Right now, the two boys targeting Julie. Is it enough? Looks like it is, Julie. Your plate has been smashed. Game over. Take a seat. I'm shattered. I feel so defeated. I really wanted to win this. TC versus Todd. You've both been in the treasure grid. Who wants a return trip? Is this enough water to knock TC out of the game, Todd? I suddenly realise that I'm at a fairly big disadvantage here because he's got one bucket in front of me. Todd, being ultra careful with that precious load. Just make sure you get a full one, TC. Because he may not finish you on this one. 
TC takes a full basket of water. We have a race on our hands. Will Todd's basket be enough to crash TC out of this game? Every drip going here. Look out. Look out. Oh, oh, that is so gone. Oh. Not enough. You got to move, Todd. You got to move. Will TC's bucket decide this game? Todd's gone. I put one in there. Will TC's bucket decide this game? Oh, you still got it, Todd. You still got it, Todd. Oh, my God. It's not enough. Both boys got to move through the course. TC is flying through the course. One last island shower. Oh, my God. Who wants it more? TC, dance around it. Todd is bolting towards that shower, but TC is close behind. I've got to nail this. I've got to fill this bag. And obviously, I've got to beat TC back. A crucial island shower. Todd gets a full basket full of water. Let's go, TC. TC, hot on his tail. Oh, my goodness. Like, this is too much. It's hard to watch. Good catch, TC. Our boys neck and neck in the course. Still anyone's game. Now, Todd, is this enough water to put TC out of the game? Oh, here it comes. Yeah. TC, your plate has been smashed. Game over. Todd, we have a winner. Congratulations. Arena champion for the second time. It's the best feeling. I'm super excited to be digging for a key. I've, my odds are going to be a lot better than what they were last time. Jump cuddles. I love you, Bonnie. Love you. <laughs> I know who I'm taking into the retreat, and every single person here knows who I'm taking, and that's, of course, Bonnie. Good on, Toddles. Thanks for taking me out so quickly. <laughs> Todd winning the Arena Challenge today puts a complete spanner in the works and just fuels his power even more. Good work, Toddy. Oh, my Tartles, you're such a reigning champion. Yeah. Solid, solid work. I think everyone's trying to be my best mate at the moment, so she'll get a few shoulder rubs, head scratches, that sort of thing, and um, a few cuddles from uh, the girls and the boys. OK, who wants to stay in the comp? I need a shower, I need a oh. massage. I'm pretty hungry. You know what you need? A key. <laughs> yes, I do need a key. Ooh, Getting that key represents potentially a million dollars, so without that key, you're not in the game. Shawnee, what do you reckon the uh, the odds are tonight? If I'm uh, if I'm getting three digs, there's... There's 19 squares nine, left 19 with squares 11 left. golden keys. Last time I went to the Treasure Grid, it was a disaster and dug up three rocks, so fingers crossed it won't be the same result this time. So the first time you dig, you've got 11 chances in 19, so it's 11 over 19. If you don't get a key, your second time you dig, you've got 11 chances out of 18. 18. And then if you still don't get one, you've got 11 chances out of 17. 17. So it's 11 over 19 times 11 over 17. Uh, uh, Shawnee was going quite well, but without the calculator, we're working with some pretty big numbers. 11 over 19 times 11 over 18 times 11 over 17 as a percentage. 3, 3, 1, by the looks of it. Well, the maths worked out to be 22%, but that didn't make sense. It was going to, his chances of getting a key were probably bigger than that. It's 78%. No, no it's... No, it's, it's, 78%. it's 22 minus 100. 78%. 22%. Who would I beat swimming? I think I'd beat all of them swimming. Oh, you yeah. smash yourself. Julie, show me your fall. Yeah, you want to have a race? We'll be the judge. Who? Both of you. All right, we'll do it for fun. <laughs> OK. Jess is a really strong swimmer. And anyone that's showing how physically strong they are is just putting a massive target on their back. Go! It's 
seems all fun and games, but it's actually part of Natalia's plan to show how strong Jess really is. If I was to knock out a girl first, it'd be Jess. She's a really good swimmer. If we get a and swimming she's contest, smart. she's gonna smash. She smashed us. me out there today. Yeah, she that's why so I. Smart that's well. why yeah. I said to race because I wanted everyone to see how freaking good she is and realise. <laughs> <laughs> you naughty little girl. <laughs> Sorry. Natalia is incredibly strategic. That chick should never be underestimated. I tried to come in as the ditzy blonde and I wanted people to underestimate me. I don't care about the rest. I'm here to win it and I think I've got the skills to do it. Coming up, the grid is yours. Will Todd strike it lucky in the treasure grid? Yep, we got chain. Before removing another player. Todd? Your decision is about to send somebody home. I would give anything to be digging in that grid tonight. I'm totally excited that Todd gets a chance to dig in the grid tonight. It possibly means I'm going into the retreat. Guys, come out of the jungle and into the treasure grid. One of us are going to be millionaires. And the million bucks is somewhere in that grid. It's crazy to think. Walking into the treasure grid, I'm feeling extremely nervous. Just praying that this time I'll get my first key. Five squares have now been dug up. Four dead squares and one that held a golden key. Eleven keys remain. When all 12 golden keys are out of the ground, someone will unlock the one million dollar grand prize. Knowing that Underneath the ground in front of you somewhere is buried a million dollars, like, uh, gives you goosebumps. <laughs> Todd, today you retained your title as arena champion. The right to dig is yours. You can choose any three squares to dig in. That's three chances to find a golden key. Last time you dug, you got three dead squares and failed to find a key. Think you'll find one this time? I hope so. We've, we tried to work out the odds in the camp before, but uh, there's not a mathematician between us, but I'm thinking it's around mid to high 70s. Fingers crossed that I, I get my first key. Grab a shovel and take the centre square. Go Toddles. Go Todd. Go Todd. Got this in a bag, big fella. Good odds, good odds. One of these squares holds a key that will unlock one million dollars. Which one is it? I'm so nervous for Toddles. If he doesn't get a key tonight, I'm gonna lose it. Are you ready to choose the first square? The grid is yours. Go, go, Toddy. Toddy. Come on, go, mate. go, buddy. Come on. Yours this time, buddy. Time to make a choice, Todd. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, All right, here he goes. When you dig, you'll find a chain with a rock on the end or a chain with a golden key. Yep, we got chain. This is the one, oh, big fella. Oh, pull her up, pull her up. If you find a rock, it's a dead square. If you find a golden key, that means you're one step closer to the million. Bad luck. It's a rock. Unfortunately, that's a dead square, Todd. Got two more, mate. <laughs> He's looking pretty devo, and I'm pretty devo for him, but he just needs to suck it up. He's still got two more to go, and he'll be fine. 
find a square that's calling you. This is the one, Todd. Yes. Oh. Yes. Here we go, buddy. It's oh, the key. Oh. That's the one, Todd. That's the one. That is the one. When there's a million dollars at stake, I'm not going to lie if I say that it's better for me if he doesn't find a key. Come on. Will it be second time lucky for Todd? We're getting deep. This is the one, Todd. Oh, we got Shane. Hey. Here we go. Pull her up. This is the one. There's my first golden key, <laughs> and I'm wrapped. Having that key is it's the best feeling. It gives me my one in the 12 chance of winning that million dollars. There it is. Yeah, well done. Well done, mate. It's key. Woo! My dream is to one day own my own business and be my own boss. The thought of winning a million dollars just blows you away. Todd, this key could be worth one million dollars. Thanks, Jason. It feels good. <laughs> well done, oh, it's great. Well done, dude. Looks good. Thank you. Todd, today you not only won the right to dig in the treasure grid. As the arena champion, you'll also enjoy a gourmet meal. Me, Pat. And a comfy bed in the camp retreat. You must now choose someone to share in that privilege. It's got to be Vaughn. She's somebody who Todd can manipulate. Vaughn's Todd's little sidekick that will do anything Todd says. Because it's only fair to share the privilege around. <gasps> oh. Captains cannot invite the same person twice mm -hmm. oh. into the camp retreat. <sighs> Oh, Devo and Vonnie. Jason drops the bomb. Damn it. And I'm Devo. Todd, choose with care. As tomorrow, you will be team captain, and the person you choose right now will be your opposing team captain. This is a really great twist in the game that could undo Todd's tyranny. The person I choose to be my opposing team captain is going to be... Todd has got his first golden key. He's got to now select a team captain. You can't take the same person into the retreat twice. The person I choose to be my opposing team captain is going to be... I think Mark is someone that I can trust and rely on and um, know that he'll do the right thing by me when I ask that of him. Thank you. Very interesting. <sighs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> I'm so happy. It means I get a nice meal, a few beers and uh, a nice sleep. Todd, Mark, enjoy your evening. But remember, with privilege comes power. When you pick your new teams in the morning, you'll also be sending somebody home. The next elimination is entirely up to you. Sleep on it. I'll see you then. Thanks. Thanks. This is a game for a million dollars. Loyalty only goes so far. I reckon they're going to work out a plan of who's going to be on whose team and I reckon Mark will deviate from that plan. Yeah, how close are you to Mark? 
But you went in there just. Oh, well, I got close, close, oh, but I mean, yeah. we get on well. Yeah, he's blue. Yeah, you're original no. team blue, yeah. Knowing that my destiny in this competition is in the hands of Mark and Todd <laughs> makes me feel vulnerable, powerless, useless. Thanks, Bonnie. You did awesome. Time to hit the retreat, Let's Mark. Let's do it. Let's do it. Enjoy the meal. Thanks, guys. Oh see you guys. Right, we'll see you for dinner shortly. Oh, yeah, we have to make dinner. So, does everyone like snails? No. Tim, I'm going to cook them anyway. Being chosen to go into the <laughs> retreat. Great. I love it. Oh, some coldies. Oh. <laughs> Look yes. out. Having the power to decide who stays and goes, that's critical in this game. Cheers, mate. Cheers, brother. <laughs> oh, that's good. Charge your glasses to me tonight, everybody. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. My mama taught you me. You never know how this is You never is know. I know at this stage that my head's on the chopping block because they all see me as a huge physical threat in this competition. Mark wants to get into that. He wants to get into an individual challenge, right? And the only way he's going to get there is if he's got a strong team behind him. And that's as simple as it is. Oh, oh dinner's up. Here we go. Hey. Did you, oh, you brought the champagne No, we had beers and now we've got champagne. Oh, you did have beers, did you? Put, put your money on what you think it is. What is it then? Drum roll, please. Hello. If that's a lobster or a crayfish, it's awesome. Even that piece of broccoli looks damn good. It'd be good just to have a good feed. Jeez, that lobster or cray or whatever it was just looked bloody nice. God, this lobster tastes good. Mate, it is unreal, isn't it? It's is beautiful. The best meal I've had by a mile so far. <laughs> Watching somebody eat something that I want, it's like someone's sticking a fork in your eye. It's painful and excruciating. These beans are amazing. I don't know what sauce you've used tonight. I think it was like... Yeah, not. Time bed. All right, guys. See ya. See you later. See you tomorrow. That was nice. Who's, who's spooning who? I think I'm spooning him. Or other, uh, you're spooning me. No, I'll probably spoon him, I reckon. See you, Von Star. Love Have you. Have a good night's sleep. Night, oh. boy. When it comes to the pick, I can choose whoever I want. This is an opportunity to pick the strongest team to win. If you're thinking about it and you're thinking about the million dollars, Annalise could be a great person to knock out now because she Definitely. she is someone that could go the distance. Nobody wants to see someone else win the million dollars. Um, you know, she's got to be a front runner and she's got to be considered in this elimination. She has to be. Yeah, definitely. I definitely someone we need to give some thought to overnight. What do you reckon, Annalise? How do you reckon it's going to go tomorrow? Me or Jess? I think they'll be worried about girls taking over boys. Yeah. If they eliminate too many boys too quickly, it's then they're vulnerable to girl attack. Yeah. That's what they're worried about. Hey. He's just going to even up the scores. There's no point even speculating. I'll tell you for free. It's me or Jess. Yeah. Hundred percent. Me at or Jess. Or your eye. You're fine for now, but yeah. I can watch Todd. What because if? that boy is playing this game harder than anybody else right now. Yeah. And Pretty uh, smart. He's incredibly smart. Do not underestimate him. Watch your back. I think for the for the mood and the vibe around camp, we're doing everyone a, a favour by getting oh, uh, getting rid of Jess or leaving her unchosen tomorrow. I think Jess is the strongest girl in the competition. So she's a major, major threat. And also she's really, 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 really annoying. I suppose we could always look at not choosing Paula. She's injured, she's not going to be able to help. Not choosing Paula is, is, you know, the best bet for me. Jess comes walking over to the retreat. Do you mind if I have a quick chat to him, actually? I immediately think, here we go, she's going to, um, she's going to give her a last cry as to why she should remain. Look at me in the eye. I know tomorrow that Todd wants me to go. I don't want to feel like I'm groveling or I'm begging. You've carried me through this competition enough, and if it's my time to go, there will be no hard feelings from your end. Todd is playing this game oh. like a fierce competitor. No, no, don't worry. I'm well aware that he's playing it heavier than anybody. I know. I know he is. What I'm hoping and praying for is that Mark sees the light and realises that he needs the strongest people on his team to finally beat the Orange team. That would mean 
Paula being eliminated from the competition because she's the weakest link. Look, I totally understand that I, if you were to go, I'm going to be left with an absolutely garbage team. Like, it's the weakest team. Jess would significantly bolster our team. I can follow Todd and I'll have a weaker team, or I can go against Todd, pick a stronger team, win the challenge, look to eliminate Todd. He's ruling the game at the moment. Oh, yeah, he's, he's in, ruling yeah, the game. He's in charge, big time, because he keeps winning. If I betray Todd, it would be a really risky move. Mark will be the next one on the chopping block if he doesn't take this opportunity right now. And the opportunity is to go against Todd's wishes and keep me in this game. Up next. I'm at a massive crossroads this morning. Mark, your pick. Do I want to be the player or am I being played? I wake up and I instantly feel a sense of dread. I know my head's on the chopping block this morning. I really don't think there's much I can do. I know a girl is going home. And I know it will be a strong girl. I do feel like it could be me. The boys are starting to stir. Oh, yes. Brent. Yes. Coffee. Lots of Vegemite. Mark is a really intelligent guy, and I think if he knew what was good for him, he would choose a really strong team, including me, and hopefully send Paul out home. She's the weakest link. It's tough. In the day, it's one or the other. I trust Mark 100%. I'm completely relaxed, and I know that he's going to do uh, exactly what we've spoken about. I'm in a massive crossroads this morning. Um, do I want to be the player, or am I being played? Guys, interesting night in base camp. Oh, some people on the edge of their seats. Think they're probably going today. Annalise. G'day. Well, yesterday in the arena, you showed strength early. And you were targeted first. You yep. worried this morning? Absolutely. Um, I, I have a 50-50 chance of going home today. All right. Everyone ready for this? Let's get the captains down. My fate lies in the hands of two people that I don't really know that well. I feel completely vulnerable. Todd, Mark, I'm interested to know, when you're in the retreat, how do you decide who's going to go home? Look, basically, we just have to talk it over with each other. Um, it's a matter of strategy sometimes. Um, everybody has their strategies and I have mine. I would love Mark to go against Todd and just to completely snake him. OK, let's get started. You all now know how the team pick works. One by one, the captains will choose their team players. I hope you've thought long and hard about your choices because the last person left unchosen will be instantly eliminated from the competition. If at any time a key holder is eliminated, they must hand over any keys they possess to one other player. Captains, the power is in your hands. Todd is yesterday's arena champion. First pick is yours. The first person that I am going to select to be my team is someone that's very loyal, has been to me from the start. That is TC. Well done, Todd's first pick is TC. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Mark, your pick. I'm hoping and praying that this is the moment where Mark just turns around and puts the knife in Todd's back. I'm going to take Vonnie. Good on you, Vonnie. My second choice is one of the strongest competitors in the competition, Natalia. Mark, who's your second pick? 
Some decisions are a lot harder than others, and this one was extremely tough for me given uh, where the game's at. What I'm looking for from this competitor is to have a positive attitude to think that we can win. And that's why I'm selecting Paula. Mark picks me second. And I was really surprised. I feel sick, but I'm still praying that Mark may have the sense to keep me in the game. The next member of my team is someone that is a original member and heart beats true for Team Orange. And that is, of course, Julie. <laughs> I'm feeling really confident about my team. It's Team Orange all over again. This is getting a bit familiar. I'm very worried about being left unchosen. It's a very real possibility. Mark, who is your last pick? My last pick is someone that uh, I don't think I could win this challenge without. And look, every team needs a really good dad joke. Crikey, that's got to be me. So I'm going with Sean. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll keep him coming just for you, buddy. <laughs> Todd, your decision is about to send somebody home. Who is your last pick? My last pick is uh, one of the strongest competitors in the competition both mentally and physically. She's got a big voice. Yeah, someone that I know that will stand up when I really need her. Annalise, she's worried. She might be going home. And that is, of course. Annalise. Game over. Don't leave me hanging there, mate. I get to live another day. Mark. Where's your backbone? Jess. Yep. I'm sorry, you're the last person standing. That's fine. I'm, I'm flattered more than anything that these guys think I'm a huge threat. So, this isn't the end of me. You won't see me, but you'll probably still hear me. <laughs> Jess, I'm sorry to say, your adventure is over. It's time to leave the island now. Hey, you guys. I feel humiliated that I probably showed my cards too early in this competition. Had I not been frolicking the shores with my ripped up torso, perhaps things would have been different. She's the one on everyone's lips. She's really smart. They all look up to her. You are the champion! But with a chance to become a millionaire, She's standing in their way. People are actually fearful of you. And even the boys. Just get rid of her. You've got someone that's a genius competing against average Joes. We won her out. I need to work on the rest of the group, get everyone on board for her to go home. I'm terrified. They know their chances get better. Every time they dig. But no one will be ready for what happens next. This is going to be huge. Who will become a millionaire on the big adventure? She was fighting to become a millionaire. I'm not a girl to be messed with. Now her adventure is over. Jess is live on Sunrise tomorrow. Here's how it works. Clip yourself onto the rope and scramble fast through the course. Then pull the rope and take an island shower and fill your basket. You can only pull the rope once before making your way back through the course. Then dump your basket into your target player's bucket. When a player's bucket is full, the scale will tip and a plate will smash. And for that player, it's game over. Last player left standing will be the arena champion and earn the right to dig in the treasure grid tonight. Choose your colours. I'm just absolutely pumped. Hopefully you can get a win out of here and go and dig another golden key. I'm excited about today's challenge, but I'm very well aware that I have a big target on my back. Players. 
There can be only one. Your game starts now. Go, guys, come on. Players must go over the hurdle. Mad scramble at the first meeting post. There's a big shambles when you all get to the pole first. There's bodies going everywhere, arms flailing around. There's Annalise flying through the course. Annalise first to the second meeting pose. Woo! Todd's first pick is TC. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Mark, your pick? I'm hoping and praying that this is the moment where Mark just turns around and puts the knife in Todd's back. I'm going to take Vonnie. Good on you, Vonnie. My second choice is one of the strongest competitors in the competition, Natalia. Mark, who's your second pick? Some decisions are a lot harder than others, and this one was extremely tough for me given uh, where the game's at. What I'm looking for from this competitor is to have a positive attitude and think that we can win. And that's why I'm selecting Paula. Mark picks me second. And I was really surprised. I feel sick, but I'm still praying that Mark may have the sense to keep me in the game. The next member of my team is someone that is a original member and heartbeats true for Team Orange. And that is, of course, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> confident about my team. It's Team Orange all over again. This is getting a bit familiar. I'm very worried about being left unchosen. It's a very real possibility. Mark, who is your last... Be bigger than that. It's 78%. No, no it's... No, it's... 78%. It's 22 minus 100. 78%. 22%. Take out in a fitness competition. Who would I beat swimming? I think I'd beat all of them swimming. Oh, you'd yeah. smash us all. Julie, show me your phone. Yeah, you just want to have a race. We'll be the judge. Who? Both of you. All right, we'll do it for fun. <laughs> um, okay. Jess is a really strong swimmer. And anyone that's showing how physically strong they are, it's just putting a massive target on their back. Go! It seems all fun and games, but it's actually part of Natalia's plan to show how strong Jess really is. If I was to knock out a girl first, it'd be Jess. The she's a part. really good swimmer. If we get a and swimming she's contest, smart. she's gonna smash she smashed us. me out there today. Yeah, she that's why so I smart that's well. why yeah. I said to race because I wanted everyone to see how freaking good she is and realise. <laughs> <laughs> you are naughty little girl. <laughs> Todd, your decision is about to send somebody home. Who is your last pick? My last pick is uh, one of the strongest competitors in the competition, both mentally and physically. She's got a big voice. There's someone that I know that will stand up when I really need her. Annalise, she's worried. She might be going home. And that is, of course, Annalise. Game over. Don't leave me hanging there, man. I get to live another day. Mark, where's your backbone? Jess. Yep. I'm sorry, you're the last person standing. That's fine. I'm, I'm flattered more than anything that these guys think I'm a huge threat, so this isn't the end of me. You won't see me, but you'll probably still hear me. <laughs> Jess, I'm sorry to say, your adventure is over. It's time to leave the island now. See you guys. I feel humiliated that I probably showed my cards too early in this competition. Had I not been frolicking the shores with my ripped up torso, perhaps things would have been different. Hail. 
Oh my goodness, like this is too much. It's hard to watch. Good catch, TC. Our boys neck and neck in the course. Still anyone's game. Now, Todd, is this enough water to put TC out of the game? Oh, here it comes. Yeah. PC, your plate has been smashed. Game over. Todd, we have a winner. Congratulations. Arena champion for the second time. It's the best feeling. I'm super excited to be digging for a key. <laughs> My odds are going to be a lot better than what they were last time. Jump cuddles. I love you, Bonnie. Love you. <laughs> I know who I'm taking into the retreat, and every single person here knows who I'm taking, and that's of course Bonnie. Good on, Toddles. Thanks for taking me out so quickly. <laughs> Todd winning the arena challenge today puts a complete spanner in the works and just fuels his power even more. Good work, Toddy. Oh, my Tartles, you're such a reigning champion. Yeah. Solid, solid work. I think everyone's trying to be the best. Annalise is very calm and collected. I think Paula's definitely a stressor, and I think that um, doesn't help her in doing the puzzle. Please fit, please well fit. Done. Yes. Yeah. No. No, it doesn't fit. This is a very tough puzzle. Any ideas, guys? This is way harder than I could ever have imagined. I look up and I see their faces and I start to get really nervous about it. We had such a massive head start. We were way in front. Uh, we've squandered that lead and it's neck and neck. Focus. Only one team can get into that arena. If we end up losing this challenge, I will be fully responsible for it. Who wants it the most? Yes, that's it. the puzzle, hits the gong, we have a winner! It feels so great to have won a challenge. She's a bloody champion. I'm so happy I chose her. Don't worry about it. Absolutely devastated. We had such a big lead, it was ours for the taking and we lost it. Orange team, congratulations. Thank you. You were the last to start your puzzle, but then it all fell into place. A puzzle master brought it home. <laughs> yeah, bloody hell. You now all advance through to the arena where you'll compete against... I'm nervous for Toddles. If he doesn't get the key tonight, I'm going to lose it. Are you ready to choose the first square? The grid is yours. Go, go Toddy. Toddy. Come on, go, mate. Go. Buddy. Come on. Yours this time, buddy. Time to make a choice, Todd. Oh. Oh, my oh. God. It's on. All right, here he goes. When you dig, you'll find a chain with a rock on the end or a chain with a golden key. Yep, we got chain. This is the one, oh, big fella. Oh, pull her up, pull her up. If you find a rock, it's a dead square. If you find a golden key, that means you're one step closer to the million. Bad luck. It's a rock. Unfortunately, that's a dead square, Todd. Got two more, mate. He's looking pretty devo, and I'm pretty devo for him. But he just needs to suck it up. He's still got two more to go, and he'll be fine. Find a square that's calling you. This is the one, Todd. Yes. Seeking analyze. Todd decides that I will be the puzzle master. That is a lot of pressure on me. I think the puzzle master, Paula, obviously oh, that's going to have to be you. Paula is going to be puzzle master. She has kids. She's done a few in her time and she's injured. So it was really a no-brainer. Skyrig is set for our team battle. Think quick. Work smart. Play as one. Teams, stand by. Your game starts. 
Now. Go, guys. Guys, go. Both teams straight onto the balance watch, watch beam. Watch TC, mate. He's going he's he's gonna to play dirty, mate. When I see TC trying to sabotage Mark, I think, you cheeky bugger, TC. It's a Mexican standoff. TC's playing dirty. He's trying to wobble the balancing beam. Yeah. Toying with each other. Go, go, go. Just go, TC, go. Go, careful. Oh, oh, down goes TC. TC's in the drink, and that is perfect. That's the best start to a challenge that we can have. Climb up to the platform and go again. Yeah, I've cost the team a bit of time here. Mark's done clipped the puzzle piece for his team. Whip it down, First piece baby. for the blue team. Puzzle Master can only start their puzzle when they have all the pieces on their line. TC back onto the rope. The boys meet again. A bit like this, is it? <laughs> Got a cat and mouse, mate, huh? I'll see you then. Thanks. This is a game for a million dollars. Loyalty only goes so far. I reckon they're going to work out a plan of who's going to be on whose team, and I reckon Mark will deviate from that plan. Yeah, how close are you to Mark? We went in there just Oh, well, we're not close, close, oh, yeah. but, I mean, we get on well. Yeah, he's blue. Yeah, you're original no. team, there we go. Knowing that my destiny in this competition is in the hands of Mark and Todd oh, makes me feel vulnerable, powerless, useless. Thanks, buddy. You did awesome. Time to hit the retreat, Let's Marky. do it. Let's do it. Enjoy the meal. Thanks, guys. Oh, see you guys. Right, we'll see you for dinner shortly. Oh, yeah, we have to make dinner. So does everyone like snails? No. Tim, I'm going to cook them anyway. Being chosen to go into the <laughs> retreat. Great. I love it. Oh, some coldies. Oh. <laughs> Look yes. out. Having the power to decide who stays and goes, that's critical in this game. Cheers, mate. Cheers, brother. <laughs> oh, that's good. Charge your glasses to me tonight, everybody. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. My mama taught you me. You never know how this you is You never know. Hatch. I know at this stage that my head's on the chopping block because they all seem... Hey. You did awesome. Time to hit the retreat, Let's Marky. do it. Let's do it. Enjoy the meal. Thanks, guys. Oh see you guys. Right, we'll see you for dinner shortly. Oh, yeah, we have to make dinner. So does everyone like snails? No. Tim, I'm going to cook them anyway. Being chosen to go into the <laughs> retreat. Great. I love it. Oh, some coldies. Oh. <laughs> Look yes. out. Having the power to decide who stays and goes, that's critical in this game. Cheers, mate. Cheers, brother. <laughs> oh, that's good. Charge your glasses to me tonight, everybody. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. My mama taught you me. You never know how this you is never going to know. I know at this stage that my head's on the chopping block because they all see me as a huge physical threat in this competition. Mark wants to get into that. He wants to get into an individual challenge, right? And the only way he's going to get there is if he's got a strong team behind him. And that's as simple as it is. Oh, oh dinner's up. Here we go. Hey. Did you, oh, you brought the champagne. No, we had beers and now we've got champagne. Oh, you did have beers, did you? Put, put your money on what you think it is. What is it? Then? Drum roll, please. Oh. If that's a lobster or a crayfish, it's not. Oh. Oh. The bean delivered, your puzzle master can get to work. First team to solve their puzzle and hit the goal will win the game. Everyone clear? Yes. Yeah. All right, work out your game plan. Who's, Who's good, good with puzzles? Don't think that it's just a steady bean, it's not. I, yeah. I was thinking Annalise. Todd decides that I will be the puzzle master. That is a lot of pressure on me. I think the puzzle master, Paula, obviously oh, that's going to have to be you. Paula is going to be puzzle master. She has kids. She's done a few in her time and she's injured. So it was really a no-brainer. Skyrig is set for our team battle. Think quick, work smart, play as one. Teams, stand by. Your game starts. 
Now. Go, guys. Guys, go. Both teams straight onto the balance watch, watch beam. Watch TC, mate. He's going to he's gonna yeah. play dirty, mate. When I say TC, trying to sabotage Mark, I think you cheeky bugger, TC. It's a Mexican standoff. TC's playing dirty. He's trying to wobble the balancing beam. Yeah, yeah mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. Toying with each other. Go, go, go. Just go, TC, go. Go, go. go. TC's in the drink, and that is perfect. That's the best start to a challenge that we can have. Climb up to the platform and go again. Yeah, I've cost the team a bit of time here. Mark's done. Oh. You're right. Remember, there's a rope down there, go, OK? Go. Quick, go. You got this. You got this. Yeah, Tony. Well, well done. Well done. Each team needs eight puzzle pieces to be delivered. Take your time. Make sure you got the clip. Bring it down, mate. Five pieces for the blue team. Four pieces for the orange team. Blue team in a clear lead. Sean, a picture of concentration crossing that balance beam. Strong. Yes. There goes the sixth puzzle piece for the blue team. Go, buddy! Yes. Oh, oh, Vaughn holds on. They see now in the net for the orange team trying to shake off Vaughn. Down comes the fifth puzzle piece for the orange team. Go, 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 go. Seven for the blue team. Yes! Oh, Jess hey, makes it into hey, the net. The now I'm clipping the very last puzzle piece for the blue team. Take your time, take your time. Yep, get them off. Blue team clearly yeah, in the I lead. Jess sends down the eighth puzzle piece. Blue team have already got all their puzzle pieces down the zip line to the puzzle master. I'm feeling ecstatic yes. and sucked in orange. This is our time to shine. Blue team with a huge oh, lead team. starting their puzzle. Orange needs to catch up. Just take it easy, Jules. This is all you. We're already two puzzle pieces behind at this point. Julie needs to just go. All I'm thinking through my head. It's game over. Last player left standing will be the arena champion and earn the right to dig in the treasure grid tonight. Choose your colours. I'm just absolutely pumped. Hopefully you can get a win out of here and go and dig another golden key. I'm excited about today's challenge, but I'm very well aware that I have a big target on my back. Players, there can be only one. Your game starts now. Go, guys, come on. Players must go over the hurdle. Mad scramble at the first meeting post. There's a big shambles when you all get to the pole first. There's bodies going everywhere, arms flailing around. There's Annalise flying through the course. Annalise first to the second meeting post. I know that the boys are going to team up against the strongest girl. Out of Natalia, Julie and I, I am the strongest girl. Two players now unclipping their baskets. Annalise and TC about to take an island shower. <laughs> Out comes this disgusting sludge. Smells like absolutely putrid. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Potato. Even if it kills me. Teams, Skyrig is really out to test you today. I hope you're ready for some serious aerial action because this game is called Sky High. Here's how it works. In a relay race, four players from each team will deliver puzzle pieces to their puzzle master. To get there, grab the rope, Hold tight and swing. Then, steady as a rock, cross the balance beam. Unclip a puzzle piece from the net and deliver it to your puzzle master. When you return, your next player will set off with another puzzle piece. Each player must deliver two puzzle pieces to the puzzle master. Once all the pieces have been delivered, your puzzle master can get to work. First team to solve their puzzle and hit the goal will win the game. Everyone clear? Yes. Yep. All right, work out your game plan. Who's, Who's good, good with puzzles? Don't think that it's just a steady beam, it's not. I, yeah. I was thinking Annalise. 
Todd decides that I will be the puzzle master, that is a lot of pressure on me. I think the puzzle master, Paula, obviously oh, that's going to have to be you. Paula is going to be puzzle master. She has kids. She's done a few in her time and she's injured. So it was really a no brainer. Your backbone. Jess. Yep. I'm sorry. You're the last person standing. That's fine. I'm, I'm flattered more than anything that these guys think I'm a huge threat. So this isn't the end of me. You won't see me, but you'll probably still hear me. <laughs> Jess, I'm sorry to say, your adventure is over. It's time to leave the island now. See you guys. I feel humiliated that I probably showed my cards too early in this competition. Had I not been frolicking the shores with my ripped up torso, perhaps things would have been different. She's the one on everyone's lips. She's really smart. They all look up to her. You are the champion! But with a chance to become a millionaire, she's standing in their way. People are actually fearful of you. And even the boys. Just get rid of her. You've got someone that's a genius competing against average Joes. We won her out. I need to work on the rest of the group, get everyone on board for her to go home. I'm terrified. They know their chances get better every time they dig. So nervous. Blue team has a massive lead on us. I'm concerned we're not going to win this. Julie! Takes a second dive into the ocean. Excellent. See you, Julie. You're right, Julie. Get it back. Get it back. We're gone here. We're absolutely gone. Still to come. Blue team with a huge lead. The fallout from the sky ring leaves base camp in disarray. Getting ready for war. The girls need to stick together. Otherwise, we're just going to be picked off one by one. And later... The grid is yours. The next player has their shot at the... For the orange team, Jules has just fallen into the water again. Paula has already started the puzzle. So think of the corner bit. That's it, honey. Yep. Team Orange still have two pieces to send down to their puzzle master. I'm thinking first win for the blue team. Don't, don't hesitate. Just go for it. Jules, in your mind. Balance your hands. Just focus. Yeah. You're right. Julie. Faster, faster. Trying to focus. Faster, faster. Good work, good work. Good work. Oh, yes. well done. Well done, Julie. Great work, done it. And into the net. Orange team. Still have two pieces to be delivered. Yo, 